These people are coming down on us, and they've got to be defeated. They've got to be stopped. Stay with me. Mayor Bloomberg says so. So in Austin and San Francisco and New York, they're coming in and saying, we'll only give you a housing authorization to build buildings under Agenda 21 that have 200 square foot multi-person dwellings. The individuals get 100 square foot, and they're now saying those are too lavish. And again, the general public thinks of it from the perspective of a nice person, because you're nice people. You're like, well, well, what's wrong with folks having 200 square feet if that's all they can afford? I'm going to explain this again. In their own actuaries, they want, as renter owners like Bloomberg, they want to charge you more for less. I'm going to say that again. That's what feudalism is. While they, who steal all the money, live in giant palatial facilities, in most cases that are exempt, they run the bureaucracy. That's the new world order. And they're just a bunch of crooks. I mean, I, they're not liberals. I mean, I am so sick of Angelina Jolie and Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton and all of them. These people are sickening filth on their moral high horses trying to run my life and your life. I've had enough of Merkel. I've had enough of Hollandaise sauce in fr France. I've had enough of Cameron. I've had enough of Boner. All of them. These people are running our civilization into the ground, and they can't believe how successful they've been robbing everyone, so they're festooning secret police everywhere in armored vehicles and helicopters and checkpoints and 25 million bullets for the TSA and every form of out-of-control insanity you could imagine because no one has stood up to them. We've all run into people in our lives that we let push us around to the point of they just go completely out of control. And they do this mind game where they sit there and intimidate us until we just think that that's the way it is. It's not supposed to be that way. And I'm not trying to get angry today. I just, I just look at all this news. I got hundreds of articles I haven't even covered yet. And it literally makes me angry. I mean, every 10 minutes while we've been talking, while I've been talking, it just pops in my head that JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, came out and said, your, your patients are insane, you know, if they believe in conspiracy theories. And then it, as God, uh, they uh, said that, and, and by as God, as if what they say is just fact, that cell phones aren't linked to brain cancer. Anyone that is worried about cell phones is a raving lunatic who needs to be locked up in an insane asylum. They call it health behaviors and a sign that you're mentally ill. You know what, JAMA? You're a bunch of kleptocratic scum. And there are literally over a thousand mainline prestigious studies saying it's massively increasing different types of brain tumors. London Guardian this week said if you use a cell phone 15 hours a week, you are more than double the chance of getting one type of brain tumor alone. You people are criminals, okay? You're just like the people back in the 40s and 50s with TV ads. And we've pulled these up before. We can probably find them going, Kent cigarettes. You know, doctors recommend, four out of five doctors recommend Kent cigarettes if you've got a sore throat. Helps the lungs. Feeling down, having got a cough, smoke more camels. You know what? My grandmother and my grandfather both basically died from lung cancer, one of them from complications from it. And you know what? I don't want the government involved in it. If you want to smoke them, that's your issue. But let me tell you something. Those, those cigarette companies knew in the 20s in rat studies with smoke pumped in that it was giving them lung cancer. Okay? And, and, and you know, I, I mean, I'll be honest. I have an instinct to want to kick those scientists' butts. There it is, 20,679 physicians say luckies are less irritating. It's toasted. Your throat protection against irritation and against cough. Lucky Strikes from the 1930s, a uh, drugstore ad. We just put it on screen if you're a radio listener. You know, Barney Rubble, he's got a sore throat, he smokes a cigarette. 
I mean, I'm ready to kick some, I mean, and again, I'm not saying I'm a tough guy, I want to kick butt. I want to turn the table over right now, ladies and gentlemen. Now scientific evidence on effects of smoking. Chesterfield helps your lungs. You understand the tobacco plant pulls up radioactive isotopes out of the soils uh, that are in volcanic soils that tobacco grows well in. And that if you smoke a pack of cigarettes a day for 20 years, it's the equivalent of living inside Chernobyl for a year. And, I'm, and I boil that down to a layman statement, but that's basically what I've read. You can look it up. Look up radioactive isotopes in tobacco. And again, folks, I have smoked cigarettes. I have chewed tobacco. I have, uh, you know, I played baseball. And I mean, I mean, to tell you, the coaches let you chew tobacco when I was like, you know, 12 years old if I was playing baseball. Levi Garrett, we would take it with us and stick it in our mouth. Okay, so listen, I'm not on some kick here. If you want to smoke tobacco, that's your issue. My thing is it's a load of crap that it's good for you. And Philip Morris used the same propaganda. We just showed a Philip Morris magazine ad from the 40s that it's scientific that global warming, you know, 9,000 million scientists all agree it's imminent. You're dead if you don't pay Al Gore money and shut down your power plants and move them to China that are totally dirty. You know, all scientists agree no one believes that humans aren't causing global warming and we're all dead if we don't pay Al Gore money. It's a total hoax, and I know you know that. Can we play the Everything is Wonderful liner intro that the guys down in our Knoxville affiliate made for us? We like that. By the way, if you're an affiliate and you got great promo people there, uh, you are welcome to send it to show tips or to our producers. If it doesn't get to us, just send it five times and we'll get it. It's not the crew's fault. We just get, I don't know, let's not exaggerate, 15,000 emails a day or something. On a big day, it's like sometimes like 2,000, but the point is it varies. And um, we have a lot of station promos we've been sent. And you can even put your station in the promo. We'll air that as well as part of the promo for this show. Just a little idea there. And so many listeners on YouTube and InfoWars get mad at me. I see this. Somebody's just getting this out there. You're like, Alex didn't respond to my email, and I'm mad at him. Or Alex didn't get back with us on this. I'm overwhelmed. I apologize. I mean, I can't even cover any of this news at this point. I just, it, 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 it makes me too upset. I'm not lying to people. They put cancer viruses in the vaccines. The, 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 the microwave ovens are splattering your whole kitchen with radiation. That's on record. And frying the food. The statistics all show it. The intestinal disorders, the bowel disorders, the brain disorders, the blood disorders, the... The lung disorders, I mean, we are dying, and it's only just begun, because our life cycle 74 years. Our reproductive cycle on average is about 20. Guinea pigs within three cycles are 99% sterile when they're fed one type of Monsanto GMO corn in a major study. You can look it up. We sell books that have all studies and the rats and the rest of it, the rats, the guinea pigs. It's the same in all the mammals. Hair growing on their mouth, testicles on top of their heads. I mean, dude, listen, we're, we're now two generations into this. This has just begun. We're dead already. You know when Spock and Wrath of Khan knows that the ship's not going to make it if he doesn't go down to the reactor and, and save everybody, and then they're about to open the compartment when he's been radiated, and they say, you can't help him, he's dead already. I'm telling you, folks. What we're doing now is just so rem some remnant of us makes it, okay? That's why the globalists don't care. They're already about to go into the third generation of killing us. Soon it's going to be half the babies are born retarded. Soon it's going to be it's, it's, it's hell on earth with these people. They are literally shoving us into a meat grinder. And... There's all these little trendy cult members everywhere telling me everything's awesome, everything's great. No, it's not. And, you know, people like Lord Moncton is a great guy I can get on, and he knows I can take it, and I like it. I don't mind it. You know, and saying, well, you do go off into space sometimes. Well, we are in space, folks. And I... I know the enemy program, and I've studied it, and I'm going to say how horrible it is. Look at how successful UKIP's been by not compromising.
Let's make this a year of action. That's what most Americans want. Raising the debt ceiling does not increase our debt. Nobody is listening to your telephone calls. The debate is settled. Climate change is a fact. And if people can't trust not only the executive branch, but also don't trust Congress and don't trust federal judges, then we're going to have some problems. What difference at this point does it make? Everything is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this song. Everything is cool. 